and, and fossa infra temporalis, this one. And frontier between fossa temporalis and fossa infra temporalis will be nothing else but crista infra temporalis of sphenoidal bone. For this reason, my dear, medially fossa temporalis is bounded by um, parsquamosa of osis temporalis, osis parietalis, and osis um, sphenoidalis. Laterally, it enclosed by uh, Arcus Zygomaticus. This fossa, fossa temporalis, is filled by uh, musculus temporalis. Actually, fossa temporalis is nothing else but large capacity for uh, muscle of the same name. Uh, next, my dear. Fossa infratemporalis, as you can see, uh, superiorly is bounded by for, uh, crista infratemporalis. Anteriorly, particularly, look, ost zygomaticus, uh, medially is bounded by tuber maxillae and uh, um, Processus pterygoideus osis, osis sphenoidalis. Laterally, my dear, also fossa infratemporalis is enclosed uh, by arcus zygomaticus and uh, mandibula at that. At that and as well. Look, my dear, um, connections of uh, fossa infratemporalis. By the means of uh, fissura, uh, fissura orbitalis inferior, it uh, connects with orbita. By the means of uh, uh, fissura pterygo maxillaris, uh, fossa infratemporalis connects with fossa pterygo palatina. And, 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 actually, actually, and by the means of uh, foramen, look, if techniques permit this um, above of my um, pointer, it's necessary to have a light, uh, that one. Foramen, this one, zygomatico, zygomatico orbitale, it uh, connects with the orbita. Next, my dear. Next, my dear. Fossa pterygo palatina. Inside. There, where my uh, um, furrowed part of pointer is. That. Now, my dear, try to try to imagine its walls. Try to imagine its walls. Look, this one, Fossa Pterygo Palatina. Um, superiorly is bounded by Os Phenoidale. Posteriorly by Processus Pterygoideus. And anteriorly by Tuber Maxile. That one. Uh, mark it well, my dear, that Fossa Pterygo Palatina does not have any lateral wall. Does not. Uh, connection. By the means of uh, foramen rotundum, it connects with fossa crani media. By the means of fissura pterygo maxillaris, it connects with the fossa infratemporalis. By the means of canalis pterygoideus, it connects with cavitas oris. And by the means of, look, um, that foramen. By the means of foramen sphenopalatinum, it connects, um, it opens uh, into the canal, it opens into the uh, meatus nasopharyngeus, my dear, mark it well. Remember, please, uh, this anatomical formation. Lovely, one of the most beloved questions of your mm -hmm. Front. Mm -hmm. Meatus nasopharyngeus, my dear. Mark it well. It's very, very important. And, uh, and, 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 and uh, by the means of uh, fissura 
orbitalis in fin. Error, it connects.